India, where football defines who I really am. When I play football, it's a special feeling that I get and that keeps me going in spite of all the difficulties that I've faced and um, I do face and every, every person faces. But it's just the passion and the, and the feeling and the special feeling and the bond with, the, with football that keeps me going. Aditi Chauhan is 19 and plays in goal for the Indian national women's team. She started playing football six years ago and has now represented her country on numerous occasions. But her journey, like those of many other female players in India, hasn't been easy. Indian society is traditionally conservative and many women find their lives focused on the home. For others, the pursuit of a good education defines their childhood. In a country where there's been a recent focus on crimes perpetrated against women, sport hasn't usually played much of a role. But there's a sense that things are changing and football is playing its part. This is my India and I'm proud of it. Football can change people's perceptions. It was mostly about my brothers. They used to play it all the time and I was so envious of it. And they used to tease me that girls can't play. But I needed to prove them that I could. And so I started playing with them. And then uh, our school team was formed and so I started playing for the team. It makes me be alive, like I'm not alone like there are people with me who support me I'm not the only one out here this tournament is the Delhi school championship and it provides a valuable outlet for young female footballers to express themselves it encourages healthy competition and sportsmanship between players and it's not just through schools that changes are taking place This is my India, and football is helping empower women and girls across the country. I think football can be fabulous. I've gone, I go and I see my girls, and when I get goosebumps because I see them playing on the field, I know that we're really on to something, and we can nurture it, and really, it's, I know it's going to be the next big thing. Sara Pilot runs Sequin, an NGO focusing on women from disadvantaged sectors of society. They've recently turned to football as a means of engaging with young Muslim women, something that has its own challenges. You can't just go to the girl and say, come and play football. Even if she wants to, she can't. You have to go, you have to speak to her father, you have to speak to her brother. You have to get the entire household's permission to, for them to agree for the girl to come out. But once the girl is on the field, that's it. You don't have to do any more work. She does it because she gets it. She comes out there and that is her time. It is her space, which from our perspective is really the most important thing. Social media is also starting to play its part. Anglian Football, an organization focusing on the promotion of the game in India, recently released a music video entitled Football Queen. It portrays passion for football as being as strong amongst girls as it is amongst the nation's boys. Whilst the guys watch the world's best leagues from air-conditioned bars, the girls are out in the midday heat playing the game they love. This is my India. Football is the most important thing in my life. Well, I've been playing for India for the past four years. Experience has been good as well as bad. You know, uh, winning matches for the country is something a matter of great pride. And, we've, and I have fortunately been doing that for the past four years. Tanvi Bagav has captained her country through the youth categories and was even offered the chance to join Real Madrid's girls team. But like many Indian women, her decision to reject the glamorous option was informed by her desire to prioritize her studies. She'll be heading to the US to play at a college instead. I think people now, at least the girls in India, are definitely getting motivated now. And if if the government works a little on the women's football, I'm very sure we're going to get through and we're going to reach heights. When it comes to the FIFA ranking, India's women lie far higher than their male counterparts. They're currently 51st, around 100 places better than the men. While things may still be lacking in terms of infrastructure and exposure, the players are certainly not lacking in passion. 
after uh, being part of the Indian team, coming back to your colleges and uh, normal life, you there's a special feeling that there's a different feeling that you carry with yourself and a different personality that you become. Uh, but it's very important to be to share your knowledge and your uh, experience with other footballers so that they also get inspired and uh, try and work uh, harder. It'll be a long road, but the growth of the women's game is at least one small step in the direction of changing mindsets across the whole of India.